Hi! In today's video, I'll show how to make a lovely collar with embroidery. You'll find the links to this collar and this cross stitch pattern in the description. I've started with making a mock up to check the fitting and the position of my future embroidery. I also tried a rounded collar corner, but liked the original pointed one better on me. I mark the center of my future embroidery at the collar pattern, and then check if I've left enough space for the hoops. I don't cut the collar out of fabric yet, I just outline its shape for now. I also transfer the center of the future embroidery to the fabric. I show how to use a water-soluble canvas, how to cross-stitch and embroider in my other video. You'll find the link to it in the description. It is a very detailed one, so in this video I'll continue with sewing a color. When our embroidery is finished, I line the upper collar with a light fusible interfacing. Cut out the inner collar piece and strengthen its short edges with an interfacing lengthwise thread tape and its bottom edge with a fusible bias tape as it is shown in the video. Then cut the upper collar out. The upper one is that with embroidery. Cut out two collar stand pieces and strengthen both with a light fusible interfacing. And then fuse a fusible bias tape to the upper one's upper edge. I mark 1.5 cm from the bottom edge of the inner collar stand's wrong side. Pin the collar stand's upper edges together wrong sides and side. Stitch with a 7mm seam allowance. Press the seam flat and then press it open. Pin all the ruffle pieces together around sides inside at their short ends. Stitch with a 1 cm seam allowance. Press the seams flat and then press them open.
Fold the ruffle in half round sides inside and press. Pin the ruffle edges together before stitching. To make a gather I make two lines of machine stitching, 7 and 4 mm of the edge. Then pull by the upper threads and make a gather. I check the needed length with a measuring tape. Distribute the gather evenly. When the gather is a needed length, put it to the upper collar's bottom edge, right sides inside. Stitch with a 7 mm seam allowance. Check that there are no unwanted pin tucks at the right side. Pin the inner collar to the upper one right sides inside. Our ruffle should be between them. Stitch with a 7 mm seam allowance. Cut the excess fabric off at the corners. Turn the collar out and make sure the corners are neat. Press the seam flat carefully, not to ruin the ruffle. Let's secure the two color layers together before stitching in a color stand. I pin them together and then make a line of machine stitches 5 mm of the edge. I mark 1 cm seam allowance at the upper color stand's each short side and pin it to the upper color right sides inside. The marks from the pattern will help you out. Stitch with a 1 cm seam allowance.
Cut the seam allowance in several places. Press the seam flat and then turn the seam allowance to the collar stand. Then I pin the collar stand's short edges together, right sides inside. And draw a line with an erasable marker, to show you where the seam should go. Cut the excess fabric at the corners off and turn the collar stand out. Make the corners neat. Tuck the seam allowance of the inner collar stand's raw edge inside and secure it with hand stitches. I forgot to turn my camera on while doing it, so I decided to unsew several stitches and show you the process. Stitch in the ditch. Remove the hand stitches and press the collar with an iron. I hid the excess threads inside our collar stand. I make a hoop loop at the collar stand's short end, using chain stitches like in crocheting, but with my fingers. Its length depends on the size of your button. And our last step is to sew on a button. I hope you enjoyed sewing with me. If yes, leave a comment and give it a thumbs up. See you in my next video. Bye!